Here we go. This is your hockey coach, Guru Colt, and she's directly from where? Oh, Pittsburgh Penguin locker room today, because today we're going to talk about the fantasy hockey, the top 10 sleeper pick for the upcoming season. So don't go nowhere. Oh, yes. Uh, one more time, we have a video for the series called the Fantasy Hockey with the Hockey Initial Live Show. Today, we talk about the top 10 sleeper picks uh, for the upcoming season. And of course, before we start, we invite you, don't forget to subscribe to the Hockey Initial Live Show on the YouTube channel and on the Facebook page. And finally, please, if you enjoyed this video, we will be really thankful if you can click on the likes and leave your comments. Tell me what you think about the sleeper picks for the upcoming season for the fantasy hockey NHL. Let's start right now. Here we go. So for like we do usually, I'm always behind the, the graphics. So you're not going to see my face, only my voice. And it is what it is, <laughs> be honest with you. And uh, we're going to have a great, great video for you guys. And maybe some of you are going to enjoy it to have uh, uh, the top 10 sleeper pick uh, NHL 2021 2022. The first player we're going to talk about is uh, Zach Iman for the Edmonton Oilers. He's 29 years old. He was a 123 pick in 2010 by the Florida Panthers. Last season with the Toronto Maple Leaf, 43 game, 15 goals, 18 assists for 33 points. And during his career with the Toronto Maple Leaf, 345 game, 86 goals, 90 nine assists 185 points we know what he does you know he's a guy who will retrieving the puck and helping everybody around him on his line he play a lot with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner um, he have an amazing great work it's sick to be honest with you and uh, you can see at the bottom of his picture all the comments about uh, the Zach I mean you can read this you can post the video for you guys but what I want to mention to you look He's going to play next season for, for sure with McDavid at some point and maybe Tressel both together. It's going to be a really power line, to be honest with you. It will be interesting what Zach Iman is going to do with Edmonton Oilers. We know he signed a contract of seven years for $5.5 million. Let's jump in for the players number two. Uh, this one is for the Florida Panthers, the defenseman McKenzie. Wigar. I, I was really, really impressed by Megan Z last season because one Aaron Eggblad left uh, after an injury for his broken his leg. Uh, we thought may maybe McKenzie uh, is going to have more trouble because we don't have his partner. But I've been honest with you, he, he completely stepped up for the rest of the balance of the season with the Florida Panthers. At the point, he got, listen, 36 points and 54 games with the Florida Panthers, six goals, 30 assists. During his career, he has so far with the Panthers, 226 games, 19 goals, 80, uh, 55, uh, 58 assists, geez, 77 points. He was a, three, a 206 pick overall in 2013 by the Florida Panthers. Uh, he's a 27 years. Look, I expect a lot from him this year. He's going to, you know, have his uh, partner, Aaron Eggblad back uh, beside him for the upcoming season. I expect him to have a really a great year with the Panthers and see what happens. But uh, look, um, McKenzie, I, I'm really um, shocked to see him performing after he was picked at a seven or a seven round pick in NHL. The next player I want to talk about is from the Minnesota Wall, Jared Spurgeon, uh, 31 years old, a 156 pick in 2008 by the New York Islanders. Last season with the Wild, 54 game, 7 goal, 18 assists for 25 points. Look, since now the departure of Ren Sutter, I believe now he's going to step up and to become one of the top defensemen for the Wild for upcoming season. Um, this During his career so far, over 707 game, 89 goal, 216 assists for 305 points. I really believe right now uh, he is uh, the one who's going to be, uh, uh, play a role really, really important on the structure of the defense 
for the Minnesota Wild. So it'll be interesting about what he's going to do with Tomba for sure. And I expect a lot for Jared Spurgeon for the upcoming season. Like I said, you can read at, um, under the, uh, below the picture of each player there what I wrote about that one, about that. Next one, guys, for Vancouver Canucks. So this one is really uh, interesting because, first of all, he's a 25 years old. Uh, he was uh, one of the 23 picked by the Arizona Coyotes in 2015. Uh, last season with them, 49 game, he had 12 goals, 27 assists for 39 points. Uh, during his career so far, all with the Arizona Coyotes, 164 game, 47 game uh, goal, uh, 49 assists for 96 point. What is the interesting guy? He got trade uh, with his teammate um, Oliver Eggman Lawson uh, to the Vancouver Canucks a couple of weeks ago. He's going to be, I'm pretty sure, top six. He's going to play with a great players. Can he join Alias uh, Pedersen? That'll be interesting. Bo Ovat. That's something I really expect him to be honest with you to get about. 50 to 60 points with them. I would not be surprised he scored over 20 goals uh, for the upcoming season. So listen, it would be interesting to follow him. Uh, we know Vancouver make a lot of change, and I think uh, Garland is going to be play a role important on the on that team for the Vancouver Canucks. I'm sure he's going to play on the one of the two units on power play. The next one from Carolina Hurricane. Look, we know the saga of Tony D'Angelo with the New York Rangers last season. We know his behavior, everything like that. But that's, that's not a chance what kind of player he is at the end of the day. He's a 25 years old, was a 19 overall pick, first round pick in 2014 by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Last season, because happening, he played only six games, only one point. And then he was, you know, put out of the team, everything like that. We know what happened with a fight and with George, uh, George Vio, uh, George F, everything like that. And 206 game he played in NHL, 24 gold, 82 assists for 106 points. He had a potential guy to play, uh, to, to have about 40 points to 50 points. Uh, send the departure now to Dougie Hamilton. He could play a lot of minutes with the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, what kind of Tony Angel D'Angelo the Hurricane we want to get? Is it the one we have a bad behavior or the one can be a great hockey player in NHL? That's one going to see. That's one we're going to follow up during the upcoming season. But again, he has the potential uh, to play a lot of minutes with a Hurricane and we we'll see what Rob Brandon Moore is going to do with him, to be honest with you. I think to, be honest, to, to bring him back in NHL, we cannot ask him more and for a better situation for him to be with Rob Brenda Moore. The next player is from the Ottawa Senator, a Drake Patterson, a 23 years old, one of the 21 pick overall and 2017 by Ottawa Senator. Uh, he played all the game last season with them, 56 games, 17 goals, 17 assists, 34 points. One of the great seasons for him. We play, of course, with Brady Kachuk and uh, Josh Norris on the first line. And during his career so far, he had played 206 games with 24 goals, 82 assists for 106 points. He has a really the potential to, to do more. I would not be surprised this kid have about 50 points next season if he continues to play on the, on the unit power play and also first line with the Senator Ottawa, where this team is getting better and better. It will be interesting to follow, of course, the Senator upcoming season. New player, new rookies, the trade. At that or not, that will give more chance to Patterson to play more, like I mentioned, on power play. The next player we want to talk about is the Seattle Kraken, uh, Jaden Schwartz. Uh, he's a veteran of uh, many years in NHL, 29 years old. He was drafted by the St. Louis Blues, uh, first round pick, uh, first round uh, 14 overall uh, in 2010. Last season with the Blues, 40 game, 8 goal, 13 assists, 21 points. During his career, 560 Game, 154 goal, 231 assists for a total of 385 points. Look, he going to be a, play a big role in the franchise of Seattle Kraken. They signed him as a UFA. We know that. Um, I'm not sure what kind of the performance he's going to do over there, to be honest with you. The... It's really light as an offensive player for the Seattle Kraken, to be honest with you. Can he become uh, 
a big asset for them. I'm not sure. Maybe the first two years, but this contract at the end is not going to the work for the money they put on him to be honest with you. So we'll be interested in what Jaden is going to do um, next season. Of course, I'm sure he's going to play with Gord or also Jordan Eberly for the upcoming season. So um, if you want to get more, just read all the comments we have uh, below uh, this picture. The next player I want to talk about is for the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, talk about Maxim Condor. He's uh, now uh, 22 years old. He was a uh, second uh, round pick, 50 overall, and 2017 by Anaheim Ducks. He played last season his best career in the NHL with 55 games, 16 goals, 17 assists for 33 points. Uh, so far in NHL and two season, 94 game, 23 goals, 28 assists for 51 points. Look, he's going to play a big role like also for the team. Uh, we know the Anaheim Ducks are a really young team. And uh, I can't wait to see him with maybe with Trevor Zegras or Troy Terry. And we know they have already like, veterans like Rakel and Geslav around him. And uh, of course, the Ducks have also Jimmy Tristel and the veteran goaltender uh, John Gibson. I believe he is going to have a better year compared from last year. And finally, I expect a lot for Contois. Not surprised if Contois have an average about, you know, 45 to 50 points for the upcoming season. Uh, with the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, finally, two more, but the last two I look about more for the goaltender. And the first one for the Los Angeles King is uh, Calvin Peterson. He's uh, 26 years old. He was drafted by the Buffalo Sabre guy in 2013. Uh, 123 overall pick. Uh, last season with the Kings, uh, uh, played very solid uh, between the pipes. Uh, 35 game, you have 9 W, 18 last 5 Ties so a year coach on 18 last, but listen, guys 2.89 goal, uh, goal against average and 0.91. That's what I'm looking for. Me, say percentage. Peterson always been great about that. Uh, during his career so far, a 54 game at 19 W, 25 last six tie, 2.79, and a safe. Um, same percentage of 0.916. Listen, he's going to become now the goaltender number one for the Los Angeles King. The backup is going to be the veteran Johnny Jonathan Quick. I'm not, I expect about 50 game, and also the the King makes a couple of big chance for the during the off season. They signed the UFA Philip Dano. They trade for Victor Advertson, and they signed as a UFA also the veteran Alexander. Edler. That will helping the team on the defensive side. So I would not be surprised. Those numbers we just mentioned about Peterson is going to be lower for the upcoming season. That's a great if you have him and your fantasy team, to be honest with you. Finally, for the Boston Browns, uh, is a uh, Linus Ulmark um, from the Buffalo Sabres, signed as a UFA with the Boston Browns for, uh, for the next four years. Uh, the veteran of 28 years old last season, he played 20 games with the Sabres because he had injuries, and he had a 9W6 loss, three tie for the save percentage of 917. That's pretty Im impressive. And a goal again average of 2.63 again with the Buffalo Sabres. This is great number to be honest with you. It was a one of the six. 63 pick and 2012 by the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, during his career with them, he had 117 game play, 50 W, 47 last, 13 tied for the save percentage at 912. Goal again average at 2.78. I believe this is a great number. Boston's going to love him. And Boston has a tendency to find a great goaltender. We started a couple many years ago when they signed, you know, Tim Thomas. Then after that, it was Tiku Rask. And you can see they find a way to get there. And then also you have the, now the job. Uh, he's going to share the time with the, the rookie, Jeremy Swimman. Have an amazing great year last season on the Boston Browns. So we better say it. We know Tikus, Tuka Rask right now is on the, on the injury list. He's a UFA, by the way. But I'm pretty sure if he's back, he's going to play with the Boston Browns for the upcoming season. So it'll be interesting now what's happening with uh, Swimman. Uh, one Ras is going to be back with the Boston Browns. Look, guys, this concludes the, another great video of the Hockey Nation Live show about the series of the fantasy hockey NHL for the upcoming season. We're going to bring a lot of uh, continents about this. Some they are sharing from the Atlantic website, 
uh, private for the membership I am. Some come, are coming directly from the NHL.com. You can look about this also. And then some, they are coming from me while I feel like good about to present to you a different continents about the fantasy hockey. So thanks again for watching another great video of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Finally, like we do at the end of each video. Of course, you have greatness inside of you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show on the YouTube channel and on the Facebook page. And finally, of course, have an amazing, great day, everybody. I look forward to see you for the next video of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Bonne fin de journée, mes amis. On se revoit un peu plus tard pour une autre vidéo de l'entraîneur Cole Frenchy pour le Hockey Nation Live Show.